Okay, so it was over the that way. Should I call the Adrestia to go right over to that shore? Seems kind of silly, but sure. I'll do it in that case. Here. Let's sail. I don't know if this is really going to make things faster, but um, can I zoom? It won't let me zoom. Oh, now I'm zooming. Here we go. Now I zoom, zoom. I can't even get that close. Wow, that... That sucks. Well, never mind to that then, I guess. <laughs> never mind. I think I just slowed myself down by doing that. Oh, well. Oh, I can't go onto the very tip. I can't play Sly Cooper here. Can't just do a spin jump onto a flagpole. Such a big sad. All right, so I need to go get Aphrodite ore. That must be the cave. Um, should I mark the chest? Oh, there's the chest. I thought that the uh, objective marker was moving a little smidge there. But I thought for a hot second. I can see why this ore is named. Oh, so it's just gonna be around. Hopefully there isn't exactly five. Hopefully there's more than five here. Uh, once I platform across that, then Sly Cooper will really intensify. Will be the case. Hey, you wink. Wink. And then... Wink. Well, if I do this along the way... Whoops, wrong button. If I do this along the way... I always get them confused. Then I hopefully shouldn't be missing any of it. Probably won't be any of that stuff there. Oh, there we go. Was that not marked? Can I not use this ability to, uh... Tell where it is? This ability doesn't seem to be helping, so I'm gonna stop using it. Um... I just need one more. That like that. There. To head back. And this isn't a restricted area or anything, so I can just fast travel back. Okay. So I'll do this. Fast travel over here. Like that. Dismiss unneeded lieutenants to clean your list. I don't need to clean my list. Every single one of my lieutenants is extremely valuable. And definitely came into my services under the best of circumstances. Every single one. Did the items here respawn? Oh, it doesn't seem like. Just curious. Little fireflies. Again, this is a really pretty game. Really quite like it. We. Yeah. That is the name of the semi-blacksmith that I'm helping out here. Yeah, I already beat Medusa up. So away we go. Scoozy! Scoozy! Then... Am I dumb? I d when I first heard that flute, I thought that was the beginning of Zanza's battle theme. Is very much the vibes that I got there. Um, yes, it is important for the plot. For the immersion. I found the ore. Amazing. I kick them sometimes too. Will that be enough for the village? It should be a good start. Oh, that reminds me. I have a problem. You and the rest of Lalea. I'm just one smith, and I can divide my time between making weapons and armor, but it will slow down the process. It would be faster if I just worked on one. Which should I focus on? Weapons or armor? I, th I don't know. Assuming you can only have one or the other, I would assume that weapons would probably be better. Because, like, what's the point of being, like, super tanky defensive if you can't counterattack? I would assume. Plus, if we're gonna be realistic to, like, the mechanics of this game, armor doesn't do shit. You see any cutscene ever in this game of people wearing armor, and they get stabbed directly through it. So, like, armor is just, like, clothes in this world, so... You can't kill bandits without weapons. You'll just have to hope their archers have poor aim. Yes, you're right. Your confidence gives me hope. Thank you for your help. I've done all I can for these women. All right, well, hopefully that doesn't screw them over. But if it does, I'd be kind of surprised considering the armor in this world here. But yeah, the very beginning of Zanza's theme. I, 
As I just said, like, that reminded me of the beginning of you the theme. You can talk some sense into my sister. I've just spoken with the hunting party. They recovered new yes. arrows near the boundaries of the village. Scouts likely sent ahead to find witnesses in the lair's defenses, of which there are many. That's what I've been telling Perry! We need to kill those scouts. Even if we do defeat the lion's share of the sons in battle, the scouts will cut our throats as we sleep. If everyone dies in battle, there will be no village left to defend. The intro has Our flute. We spoke of enemy weapons castles. If we destroy those, we'll cut the legs off our foes. But enemy caches. Find, see overhead the sons of Xerxes discussing supplies they stole from a nearby fortress and returned to their camp. Why are still worried about the scouts? What if we're away in battle and the scouts return to kill those we've left behind? We need to deal with well, let's get ready. Which do we focus on? The scouts or the castles? I don't know. We'll focus on the caches, but we'll need to find the sun sure, that stronghold first. I hope you know what you're doing. I'll be sleeping with one eye open. <laughs> Are you ready to do this? I'll see you when it's done. What is it that Spartans say about shields? With them or on them? May the gods guide your path. And the arc of your sword. He's throwing the castle okay. strategically. Wandering through the woods Wait. looking for scouts is a waste of time. <laughs> what are you talking about? I can literally just pull it up here. Xenoblade Chronicles Zanza Boss OST. Like, it, that's literally how it leads. It's the case. What? Oh, I muted this tab. <laughs> I was like, why is there no sound? Or maybe this is the definitive version. Yeah, that's the definitive version. I know that there's... Let's see here. Original. I'm pretty sure it's with flutes. Is the case. I know that there's a version. Where it does. Um... Where you just hear the flute going do 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 do. This would be the original. It might be a theme leading up to it. Is what it might be. It might be one of the themes leading up to it, and then it leads into the boss battle theme. I'm definitely not thinking of Xenoblade 3. I definitely have the Zanza light motif in my mind. I most certainly am not. I swear I've heard that same light motif with the flutes. Um, and that sounded like a very similar note, so that's what I thought of there. Camp is in Malice. Okay, over here. Um, is south of the Bay of Xerxes. What? Oh, this is the Bay of Xerxes. I don't know how I didn't see that. Um, the weapons are in the Heracla Bandit camps. So that wouldn't be here. So it's gotta be this. It's gotta be the case. But yeah, I swear I've heard that exact same thing with the vocals, but with flutes. I swears it. So away we go. But anyway, it's it's not that important though. It's just a slight comment anyway. What it reminded me of. Let's just see here. I just figure like, hey, even if the scouts come back to the baddies with information, what if they don't have any supplies to actually use on us? Is the case. Um, I would say that is, but I definitely prefer final boss themes that actually have like a main light motif that's used in the game that's then used in the final boss. Like Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is wah. Ah, just in my headphones is an example of that that incorporates a little bit of the counter attack theme. As an example, um, maybe, or maybe when it comes to Xenoblade 3, maybe it's the remix of the Zanza, the divine theme that plays when you fight Alvis that uses the flutes or something like that. I don't know. I think that it's a remix of Zanza, the divine when you face Alvis in that, because I swear I've heard that same thing with flutes, but maybe that's just like the most recent version that I would have heard of Zanza, the divine. It is possible. 
thinking about three. So it could have been a game mixed up with three, but in that specific theme. I don't know. Is always possible. And I can't even remember what the final battle theme of Xenoblade like 3 main game sounded like. I couldn't tell you. I know off the top of my head the theme of Zanza the Divine. I know off the top of my head the theme of uh, Ion. But Zed, I do not recall for the life of me. Is the case. Remember, I haven't heard it in years. It's been quite a while here. Hopefully, Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition actually explains what the hell the Xenoblade 3 DLC means in terms of X being canon. Because that is something that I was very confused about when it comes to the Xenoblade 3 DLC. We shall see. Is this like underground or something? Yeah. It's Elvis's theme, Redeem the Future Final Boss theme. Okay. So yeah, I was thinking of Zanza the Divine, but not. So you could say we were both right in that sense. I should have marked everybody. Because yeah, I knew I had heard that thing with flutes. I'll take the L. Well, I'll take the L too. Because I was wrong about it actually being Zanza the Divine. Uh... I mean, you're just facing that way. What do I have to do here again is burn the caches. And those are down there somewhere. I'll take a W, N, and L. It's like Mario Party where everybody's a winner. Check that out. Or don't. How <laughs> oh, does nobody ever notice? It's so dumb. It's so dumb. Um, can I loot this first? Nope. Yeah, when there's like a tie in a mini game. And it's like everybody wins and then everybody celebrates. Okay, um. No, it's like a tied mini game, is what I'm saying. Where it's like all parties celebrate then. That's the case. Yeah, I can't actually loot that. So I probably go into that cave there. Most likely. Also, you know how I was rambling before about how you normally can't just straight up assassinate people? It has to be a critical assassination. Well, I think that spear is putting in some decent work for me. Oh, now I have to critical assassinate. But yeah. Um, technically won every single match? What, of the new Mario Party? No. That's what you're asking. What do I have marked on my map right now, anyway? Just the location, I guess. I don't know. I don't know here. Go ahead and loot this. <coughs> okay. Wink, you wink, you wink. And then do the that. There we go. The little corner of that cave didn't count as a restricted area, so I might have been able to go there and then fast travel out, which would have been extremely funny. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've lost a couple times in it. Wow. And let's just do this one last time for old time's sake. If I'm here anyway, I may as well complete the location. Well, what? Why couldn't I critical assassinate, huh? What is up with that? Okay, well, time to kill a dude on this bridge. The lighting's pretty cool. Well, yep, but you can continue to gain ability points as many times as you want. Just that your stats will stop going up on that level. Well, there's literally no point on my stats going up past this level anyway, because everyone else's stats are going to go up as well. So it's not like I'm ever going to make my level any higher than anybody else. Is the case. So there's no real point. Honestly. So you could say that I'm already at max level in that sense. 
you could argue, but I don't think that there's anywhere in the world that's higher level than this. Wait, is this one that's right next to a, uh, yeah, I may as well. Just fast travel here. May as well. Somewhere our goat has the obsidian eye of the Cyclops. <laughs> Alright, let's report back. I keep on standing there immediately. Then this away I go. I'll report back and then probably wrap up this quest line pretty soon. The Lost Tales of Greece, like, typically don't take a super long time. So, what the heck? It was like a Scarlet and Violet moment right there what that was I was browsing around Twitter semi recently and uh, there was a post from Cerebi that was just like on this day Scarlet and Violet released two years ago and it sold so many units and so it caused a whole bunch of people to start like quote retweeting it being like these games are actually really fun if you don't have people like constantly telling you that they're bad or people being like man despite what's being said like these are actually such amazing games and then you read through the replies and it's just like a whole bunch of people either like taking the same camp as them or people that are like what no you're wrong and just being at one another's throats and it's like you know you can like or dislike something without trying to make it into a whole show and competition but what do i know thank you for all you've done the best defense all right well and then there's this yeah, not really a big fan of the Pokemon community. But we need reinforcements. As prepared as we're going to be. Go. I'll stay with those who can't fight. This way! They've got a team against the So this has gotta be the final battle here of this quest line, right? Um I don't know if that was the biggest factor there. I'm pretty sure it was mostly just like the modern era of Pokemon games making the community so divided. When, like, the quality really tanked, and, uh, there's a lot of people criticizing it for that, and a lot of people are just like, what? No, it's always, like, the same quality. And some people just trying to genuinely enjoy the parts of it that they still enjoy, and not be involved, or some people that do still want to be involved and be like, hey, there's these parts that I still really enjoy, so I'm gonna make sure you all know that, and it's, uh... The hell? I can loot this guy. Bye, have a great time. <sighs> Ubisoft games, huh? This looks like a nice cliff. If they're coming over to me, then that works. I don't know if that, uh... Oh, I must have killed him. I got EXP. Hi. Uh. Okay. Okay, and then, uh. Do a little bit of healing here. Okay, and then we go this way. That guy's just gonna keep on running there forever. No. Okay, and then, uh. Adrenaline, please. What is he just saying? Also, who's throwing things at me? I guess whoever they were, they were a friend, not a foe. <laughs> I like started moving him. Ubisoft ragdoll physics. Our proof god is real. <laughs> They're God's great blessing to mankind. Well, he's dead and bugged out. Is the case I killed him already, I looted him. But the cost fear. This is war. That was well, it wasn't easy, but it was easier than I expected. The sons of Xerxes won't be invading Lalea anytime soon. Still. I worry about Perry back in the village. I'm glad it's over. I may not be a champion of the gods, but it'll take more than a few wounds to fell me. 
Let's return to La Lea. <laughs> then the immediate full speed run. All right, this way we go. We don't just teleport to the village. We run there. Are we going to discover that uh, the village is like on fire or something like that? She was just saying it was easier than expected. So we're going to get back and it's going to be like, oh, no, everything went wrong. You were wrong to not deal with the scouts and to make weapons instead of armor. How could you screw us like this? Hello, hello, beastly sword. How's it going today? Welcome on into wrapping up Assassin's Creed Odyssey with random other free DLC quests that I was wrapping up here. Yeah, been growing up my beard this year. Who did this? Bandit scouts, I would guess. Oh, I was wrong for not going after the scouts then. The scouts! The scouts! Doesn't anyone ever listen to me? Wow, that now sucks. Is dead, How was I supposed to know, though? In her blood. I thought, what could the scouts in their army, like, even do if I destroyed their caches? And realistically, I would have gone after both things. Um, we didn't know the scouts would attack. It was that or go after their supplies. And I figured that defeating, like, the opposing... Defeating the opposing army supplies. Destroying the opposing army supplies would cripple them a lot more than taking out their scouts. Like, I know that information is king and stuff, but... Well, not even a fade through black, just, like, a sudden cut. Well. Okay. Huh. Guess we're not going down the romance route. Um, yeah, it's not a super high quality cutscene. I mean, hi, you're just in the river here. Uh, Jeez. Once again, I don't think I'll ever be able to see the beauty again. Not without peril. When I lost my own family, I didn't think I'd ever find peace. And have you? Not yet. You probably want nothing to do with me now. Everything that happened, I just can't. I understand. It's better this way. What will you do now? Our magistrate is dead. We are without a leader, so I will step in. You'll make a good one. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> oh, the daughters of Lalea, I got a steam achievement. Man, did that conversation ever feel robotic-y and like there wasn't enough space between, like, the sentences between people. Like, the responses were a little bit too fast, I feel like. Random PSA, Forza Horizon 4, and Sega Genesis Classics both will be delisted from digital storefronts next month if either of any interest in these folks here. Jeez. Well, that's the digital market there sometimes. All right, I did it. I did the thing. It has been done. Now all that's left is the this. I can fast travel right here. I'm not doing that tonight. I'm doing that at Hallowland. Because at this point, may as well do some stuff at a, at a LAN party to end off this 11 month long playthrough because my goodness gracious i think it'd be kind of fun to finish it off at a land party honestly i think that would be kind of fun ended in a little bit of a unique venue so i'll have played this at four land parties throughout the year all three of the mega fps land parties and fragapalooza i played a little bit of this at so this playthrough has encompassed a lot of stuff on this channel and I brought it with me to all the events that I've gone to. Would have played it a little bit at Extra Life, but at Extra Life, I was just playing pinball games was my goal. So this didn't really fit in there. So apart from that, I've been playing this game for quite, quite a while here. Now it's just one last small thing. <laughs> but it's awesome because the all three of them are Rayquaza's... Um, but yeah, I, uh, I've been through a whole lot with this game here. Is it just me or is there a bit of an outline to her left? Like a little yellowy kind of line. Oh, it goes away if I get closer. I definitely looks like a little bit of an outline around her. I don't know, maybe I'm going crazy here. Leon, Mithrian, Quillfish, and Seal. Nice. But yeah, it, uh, it has been quite the journey here. I started my final semester of university well technically before i started this playthrough 
was just before I started my final semester of university. Unless I decided to grad school later. But the my final semester of university that I for sure needed to finish at that point. Um, and now at this point, I've been graduated for like longer than that semester. And I've uh, been putting in job applications to several different places as I continue to work at the university. And life is definitely in a very, very different place from when I first started this playthrough. I look very visibly different from when I first started this playthrough. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be keeping the beard. It is starting to, like, really annoy me. But there is some channel stuff that I do want to wrap up before I take it off, I think. But I don't know how much longer I'm going to be keeping it on here. We shall see. I don't know if I'll have it by the time that I play Valhalla. But there's one last short adventure to go here before wrapping it up for good, good. According to how long to beat, it's about two hours long, if I recall, so not super long. So it'll probably be another, like, four parts-ish. And then after that will be Valhalla. Um, my cousin's kids, you mean? I'm pretty sure that they said that. This was a decent while back. I thought that you guys had talked directly about that. Is what I thought at one point. Um, probably, I don't know. You'd have to ask them. Would be the case. But yeah, there's one last adventure to go here. One last short adventure at a very different venue and the final LAN event that I'm going to this year. So, yeah, that should be fun. I'll mainly be playing Metroid Prime 3 there, but I'll do a little smidge of this doing the very last adventure. Let's see here. So let's go ahead and save. Onto my very misreported time. Still a lot of hours in this game. I'm going to sleep. It is a weekday here. It is 10.24 p.m. I I got, I got some sleep here. Appreciate everybody that tuned into... I can DM it to you later rather than doing it on stream here. You know. Um, but uh, I'm going to go get some sleep here. This is the case. Do some more work stuff tomorrow. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of hard to believe that this is almost done. Because what a journey it has been. It has been one heck of a long time. I think it might even be the longest in terms of like real lifetime of start to finish of a single playthrough. I know that the longest playthrough is still three houses over the course of like three years or something like that. That took me. But uh, but yeah, this will be just short of 11 months by the end. Corgi owner 5,000. Well, that would be one of my actual cousins, not my cousin's kids. They don't own a Corgi. If they ever get a doggy one day, who knows what kind of breed it'll be, but probably not a corgi. We shall see. But yeah, until next time when we finish the last little bit of content at Hallowland. Take care and see ya.